Let me see your nails. Okay, I love that color. You picked that out? No, the dummy that side me still could I picked that. Don't be don't be rude and nasty. <clears throat> So, my mama already went inside, but I'm going inside to see what the clothing finds are giving on today. You know, all the TikTok girlies are posting their little finds. And I'm going to give it a try because every time I go in here, I ain't in here. But today, we're just going to hope and pray that we have better luck. So, let's go. We're gonna try this on. Oh, this shirt is cute too. It's the extra large. It looks like it running big though, but. I'm gonna try it. Oh, knocking everything off the hanger. Okay. Oh, oh, these jackets are kind of thick too. I do have one in my size. I don't know. I don't want no jacket. I wish I had the little tights in my size. But for the babies, those are cute. We're going to try these. Normally, stretchy fabrics don't work. Well, unless it's a stretchy fabric. But I want to try it. This is cute. Target, I guess it's the black history month section. This stuff is so cute. Look at that jacket. That's cute. Oh, these are sweatsuits. Oh, wait a minute. See if they got a sweatshirt to match. No. Oh wait, they do. It's a two X. We'll see how it fits, but that is nice. Where's this shirt at? Must be the last one. That's really nice.
Okay, we're in the dressing room. Oh, this is the OOTD. Oh, is my tag hanging up? So let's try these on. <laughs> it's too tight. <laughs> it could be a nice crop though. This is a size 3X, but this one's big. So I'm probably going to size down. Because I've been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? It's cute. Really cute set. I think I'm not going to get the top though. And just get the pants. Because. <sighs> What's the top giving y'all? It's kind of giving me. C I T I, but I really like the pants. Hey y'all, I just got home from work. I'm sad. I put my robe on and pulled out my wine. This is the y'all. So, what I'm about to do is show y'all what I got from Walmart, and then I'm going to make a little dish. Cheers. Cheers. Who asked you? <laughs> I'm gonna make this broccoli. What is it? Broccoli and chicken alfredo. Chicken alfredo dish without the noodles. So I got. So it's low carb. Yeah, so it's low carb. Thank you, Mamie, for the comment. You're welcome. Com the background commentary. <laughs> so I got a rotisserie chicken. Um, I got the parmesan, which I all think I have some already, but I got some more just in case. Got some more carbonated waters. No, I gotta have them. I want a soda so bad. Woo! What? They got a ginger ale down there. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the I ain't gonna do it. Got some grapes, of course. This is my favorite little snack. Um, you like mushrooms? Okay, good. I got some mushrooms to go on the Alfredo, too. Ooh. And I got onions, so I can saute the onions and the mushrooms. Come on, saute! <laughs> um, got the Alfredo sauce. I don't know how much I need it, so I hope this is enough. I think so. The lady only used one can, but my can is a little bigger. Well, it might not be bigger. Then got the broccoli florets. Thumbnail. <laughs> and I need to wash well put this in the dishwasher. And I also got some, because I already got meat and cheese. So I got turkey and cheese. I don't know, but I got chips, some baked chips. I got the popcorners, and I got some white cheddar pork corn. So let's get into the dish. Oh, so I, oh, I forgot this. Oh, and I also got some pistachios. I recently just figured out that I like these. Really? Like yesterday. 
<laughs> and pita crackers. I like to eat that crab dip from Walmart. And them pita crackers be hidden. I love pistachios. Yeah, you gotta try pistachio cake. I got Eric Cake one time. It's delish. I just figured out I like the soft cheese. Now the Alfredo is supposed to be like super simple. I'm going to off. You pour the broccoli, then the chicken, and then you just put the sauce in the pot. That's simple enough for ingredients. I can do this. I need to rinse this broccoli out first. Mammy was so gracious to shred up the chicken. <laughs> and we got these veggies over here. I think I'm done with these actually. Just like I like. If, if nobody else is eating, then I probably would have continued cooking it until it was burnt. Because I like my veggies burnt. But since we're putting it in, in a dish, then we don't need to overcook them. But like if I was putting it in an omelet or something, oh baby. Frying and dying. Okay, so we got everything ready. Let me get the recipe again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the veggies in with the broccoli. And I'm probably gonna, I got a little more broccoli that I put in a bowl. I'm probably gonna add that to it too. I just wanted to make sure I can get everything in first. Okay, then you put the chicken in. No, I'm gonna save that broccoli for a sec. I don't want the thing to be too overpowered or too, hmm, maybe I will put some more broccoli in there. Cause I know it's gonna cook down. Preheat to 350. I'm gonna be good and cheesy. Say so over the top, and then you pour the sauce on top. I'm using the classical roasted red pepper, Alfredo. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use that second. Okay, and I'll put the rest of the cheese on top. Perfect. 
perfect. So this is what it looks like going in. Mmm. Check out the side. I'm gonna shuffle it around a bit to get the all the sauce is going down. Sauce is going down. Mmm. So yummy. Gonna let it cool and we'll taste. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it, okay. You want me to fix your plate? Sure. <laughs> Don't look that good when you uh, take it out the time. <laughs> but I'm sure it's gonna be good. <laughs> It is. All right, you ready to taste? Ready to taste. A little bit of everything. Okay. Cheers. That's good. We're good. That's real good. That's really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. 